they, they are, were gonna hold you in contempt for they, fighting they, they for your kids. They threatened to hold me in contempt, so all I could do was cry. You know how a mother cries for a, a deceased child? I could feel it in my, I knew it would happen. And here we are two years away. They, she allowed me to cry uncontrollably very loud though. But she, oh, I she can't allowed, talk truth, I can't speak truth. She allowed a mother to cry. Yeah, I'm, I'm allowed to cry in court though. Uncontrolled. It was awful. And they were talking over me with DHS and every. Oh, it was awful. It was so traumatic. What if? What if I knew what would happen? What if through the page? Could you? What if I created a group? What if? What if we called it <laughs> Mia's group, and uh, we created a Facebook group. We used the page, um, and we tried to gather. Those of stories, us, that would be awesome. Like that would be awesome. Advocates for just me trying yeah, to do it. Yeah, advocates, moms, advocates, moms. Yeah, the hell with them. That's because they don't want to believe the truth, and it because it's uglier than what people. And again, like my community um, is watching me all the time. They watch this drain my soul. They watch me refill my cup, and I know that they know it's real. Um, that evil really lives, and. Um, that they those that want to hide it doesn't want to believe it um call it crazy call it a lie um that's awesome that you have so many people that are open up to it because it's so hard it's very hard to whenever i it's the liter i called it i'm gonna be honest i have it on a recorded line i called the news station just like right before i went camping and this guy Josh picks up and I could just tell in his voice that he was just upset and he works for Fox 23 News up here in Oklahoma City or I'm sorry I got it wrong channel uh, 9 or it's channel 6 it's one of those channels Griffin Media up in um, OKC but um, he just kept saying I don't care I don't care about your story and we're not going to help you we haven't contacted you back we're not going to help you I said because it's going on a year now and he was just being so short and mean he's like I'm going to hang up on you now I said what you don't care because it's not happening to you and I called back oh girl I got so upset I called back like 10 times and just telling him putting him in this situation hey did you know if you take a trip down to Texas they're going to cover your death if an accident happened like you know I just I didn't know what else to do you know you know what's another <laughs> thing that I care about him and he doesn't <laughs> care I'm sorry. No, don't be so sorry. It's, when it's, people want to be mean, and it's like, I'm doing this for you. It's amazing to me how you can even keep it together. But that's the other thing about other mothers that have been through y'all strength. Because as you're talking to me and you're verbalizing things so clearly and level headed, I'm like, how? But you know what I realized? You have been through so much that your level of pain is so astronomical that we can't even comprehend what would break you at this point. And now you're, you're I can't be broken, girl. Like, <laughs> I had a girl like, with the devil. and like what makes you I'm cry? I'm so positive. Because yeah, what makes like, you cry is just we like we have to do something. The yeah, it's 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 amazing because like I said, I listen to it and I'm like, man, they're telling me and they're laughing and I'm like, well, because the <laughs> amount of pain that you have experienced. So. Yeah, because at this point it's funny. It's it's hysterical. It's, I mean, I don't know how else to look. Well, at it's it. almost like it's insanity, right? You're like it's, it's so it's crazy. All I can so do is casually right yeah. now, like it's common, and it's like what? I'm not even from there, and I'm from Bear County. I'm like that can't happen, you know. And the way that they run it is the mortician goes to school for eight years. Any mortician, they got to go to school for eight years. That's a long time. They deserve to have that final say. They studied long enough to have the final say. Well, the way Bear County runs it, it's whoever is the lead investigator. That's Michael Dewitt, who I have on a phone call. There's good he people. Agrees. There's uh -huh. good people everywhere. There's always one in a room. All it takes is one, and we have to gather the mm -hmm. good media. All we need is one, one in every room. I believe in that. Like In my community, like I said, um, they've watched me grow into this and what is happening. I don't show everything, but... Since you want me to show this, I will show this, and they will know. <laughs> but yeah, I will share, also share whatever. You but need. I also I'm know that my community. The fact that whenever I was in those packing plays, because I don't have a memory of eating poop, but me and my little brother, we would play in our own poop and we would eat it when we were little babies. We'd get older, and that adopted family would bully us and tell the other family that weren't around when we were babies that we're gross adopted kids that eat our own poop, and then they would. We would get friends, you know, or people that would come around the house, like family friends, and then they would tell them. 
So they were automatically outcasting us. We were always those gross kids that ate our own poop. And it's like now looking back, it's like, wow, you guys were all grown and just didn't say, say like, not one of you said, why are they eating their poop? They weren't fed all day, were they? You know, because we were being locked <sighs> up. So this is what I know crack. about my community. When we, um, our thing is, you know, if we don't want it to happen here, or what could my community do so that it doesn't happen here? Yeah, I don't think that if you said that you've been working on this community for uh, a while now, I fully trust that they're going to be kind people. You don't even seem like an aggressive person in your voice. If you want, I can send you this recording line. <laughs> I can be. Because she I, is nasty. Oh, I can be nasty, but um, that's not always oh, necessary. Yeah, sure. It's not always <laughs> necessary. We all can if we are pushed. I mean, it's I try always, not to be yeah. because it's not fun. But the thing me. is, um, the thing is, we demand people here to be good and right and righteous and do their job or we demand that they give their job to somebody who can and we're okay. we're fearless in that hey do the job that we elected or we hired you to do or move so we can get the right person to do the job and okay. so it sounds like right now what we need to do is just maintain um, accountability on all the roles that we have and work toward because I do believe evil creeps in and so we have to stop it from coming here and working with our legislators I do believe to some extent this happens in my town um, I've seen it yeah. I mean I, I won't even it you don't even happens have to see it in to know, my you're town down it there. has happened yes mothers have mm -hmm. shared with me fathers have shared with me since I'm going to release this I'm going to tell it this happens in Bryan College Station um, mm. this happens nobody mm. in my town except one mother has had the courage to say it. Well, that's because they make us feel like we're bad moms. Yeah, but and I am grateful. But I'll say this, anymore. I'm grateful for the judges who have taken my phone calls to listen mm -hmm. to me tell their stories. Now with this, me releasing this, I'm begging judges, okay? Don't let it wait for me to call, for me to filter the information. Trust your spirit. Listen to these mothers. Please restore families. As me and I will create this Facebook group. You'll help me manage it, right? I'm going to add you. Yes, I'll try my hardest. I don't really. No, I'm it's great. okay. It's See, okay. I worked for TikTok for it's years okay. at home. Okay. Oh, yeah, I was going to tell you that, too. I don't know what you do for work, and I'm trying to tell everyone this. I worked from home for years up until, like, my daughter's death, and I couldn't anymore. But um, you can work. You're living in Texas, and you know california's rent is high so they're paying high you can <laughs> work okay. out of, i'm serious you can work out of california no it's okay friend you know, i'll make it work just just home. say you'll you don't have to be perfect just say you'll help me you agree you'll help I, me? I definitely will okay, help good. you definitely will because <laughs> oh my god i haven't got any help until now no, thank we'll, you yes no i, I stay from home 